disabled American veteran here back with another video how you guys doing today hopefully everybody's doing well let's get started with this video which is about VA clothing allowance okay um, let's start with qualifications for a clothing allowance so to qualify for the clothing allowance okay regardless if you receive a prosthetic device from the hospital or you receive cream from the hospital or uh, you're in a wheelchair and they gave it to you from a VA hospital or a VA facility you need to be service connected that is the number one thing to getting a clothing allowance is being service connected so even though they may give you a wheelchair they may give you um, the canes that you use with both arms to walk with they may give you two knee braces they may give you a metal back brace whatever the case may be if you are not service connected you do not qualify so that is the number one qualification service connection okay now that we got that established to qualify it has to be a qualifying device in other words all right normally normally and this is not in every situation but normally when it comes to like knee braces it needs to be a knee brace that has metal and you're looking for a metal hinge okay if you have just a sponge knee brace the neoprene knee brace and you got that from the VA and you service connected for your knee more than likely you're not going to get anything for it if you have the newer conventional style knee braces right um, that are basically plastic the hinges are plastic you're typically not going to get anything for that I have an unloader brace okay it has a metal hinge and it will clearly cut through your clothes it has already done it several times for me uh, one of the things that I also have is a custom-made keyword custom-made AFO for my left ankle because I have foot drop uh, now just a normal AFO okay the plastic one that sits in your shoe runs up the back of your leg that's just plastic you typically will not get a clothing allowance for a normal AFO but in my case because I have a knee brace on my left knee and I require an AFO on my left ankle because I have foot drop and it's custom made both of those have metal hinges so I qualify for each one of those all right now when it comes to creams you can qualify for a cloning allowance based upon the type of cream that you have not every cream is going to qualify the way to find out is to go to www.prosthetics.gov www.prosthetics.gov okay and that's for creams um if you guys have back braces depends on the type of back brace you have if it has the metal rods because i have one if it has the metal rods okay in the back that's basically holding it then you will qualify that way if it's just the plastic uh, inserts that you have that you can easily pull out you will not qualify that way if you have a wheelchair if you're someone in a wheelchair your service connected for that wheelchair you will qualify for the clothing allowance now I'm gonna give you a couple examples and let me answer this one too how much is a clothing allowance currently it's a little more than eight hundred dollars I don't know the exact amount I get for clothing allowance every year and when can you apply for a clothing allowance depends on your prosthetics department at your local facility or wherever you apply okay in Arizona you can apply they normally want you to apply in the February beginning of March when I was going to San Diego Mission Valley VA you could apply January 1 be the first one to apply right around end of august beginning of september you would get paid normally with the one in phoenix i normally get paid sometime in october uh beginning middle or end of october is normally when i get paid my clothing allowance okay now i am currently overseas and there's going to be several of you guys ask well how are you still getting your clothing allowance when you're overseas typically when i go back to the states i'll have an appointment which is the reason why I'm going back to the States, right? And with that appointment, I will go ahead and do my clothing allowance because I get seen at least once or twice a year in the States for my primary health care doctor because I still have my primary health care doctor in Phoenix. 
I still have my psychiatrist still in Phoenix. And I do the telehealth with my psychiatrist and I'm just gonna be a whole separate video. But anyway, I go there, I fill out the form, I get a stamp copy. It is very important to get a stamp copy because if they lose it, then they can turn around and say, Wait, well, we never got it. We don't have it, we never got it. You can fax them over your stamp copy of when you got it and that will put you back in your where you're supposed to be according to the date of your application. The sooner you file, the sooner you get paid. The later you file, the later you get paid. Basically how that works, okay? Now, qualifying service connection is number one. Number two, depends upon the type of prosthetic device that you have. If you're receiving creams, you can get a clothing allowance for, for creams, depending on the type of creams that they are. If they're creams that are known to stain your clothes. So in other words, if you're just getting Bengay or you're getting some kind of numbing cream that's just I forgot what they call it, but I think if it's just oil based, they're not going to pay you because that stuff can be washed out. But for people who have like severe burns that have that dye that they put on or people who have like uh, some of the other kind of skin diseases that you require a certain type of cream, those people will qualify for the clothing allowance. Now, if you just getting some regular over the counter stuff from the VA and, and you know, it may stain your clothes, but does it wash out, which is what they're gonna ask. Okay, now let's let's give a quick scenario and then I'm done with this video. Let's just say you put in a claim for your right knee. And let's just say when you went to uh, your to see podiatry, they issued you a brace that would qualify for the clothing allowance. Now your claim is supposed to be done sometime this year so you go ahead and you put in the clothing allowance now let's just say at the time that you put in the clothing allowance um they completed a clothing allowance sent your letter denying you saying that you're not service connected and let's just say a month later you are granted service connected service connection for that knee can you appeal the decision yes you can if you're in a situation which i described okay and let's say it's been because they give you a year from the date of the application i think it's a year if i'm not mistaken from the date of the application to appeal the decision so if you file knowing that you're going to probably get service connection you get the service connection after it was denied then you can go ahead and file for an appeal showing them where your service connected and be awarded your clothing allowance okay guys so that's some information hopefully that helps you guys out but it all starts with service connection and it all starts with the type of prosthetic device you have or cream that you have. Not everyone is gonna qualify, not everyone is gonna get the clothing allowance, but if you fit the criteria, number one, being service connected, number two, have a qualifying device, and it doesn't matter how many devices you have. I get four a year, so that's 800 plus times four I get every October. If you have nine, you would get nine. If you only have one, you get one. So it just depends on how many you have and if they qualify. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Hopefully this information helps somebody out. Other than that, guys, I am out.